Hi there, I'm Daniel, and I'm speaking for Gondola Writing, Art and Design. So today we're going to cover making walls, and then we should get on to making doors and windows in those walls. So what you need to do first is you need to get your rectangle. And this is in top-down view, so it would be a rectangle. You can do that by selecting this rectangle tool, or by pressing R on your keyboard. I'm going to be using the hotkeys because they're faster and of the YouTube time limit and all that. So just make your rectangle. For this I'm going to use a, a random size. I'm not doing it to, um, not doing it accurately. And what you do now is use the offset tool which is this one over here and you, or you can press F on your a keyboard you click and then I use one um, 10 centimeters for my wall because it's quite clear that way so uh, the offset tool you know which one you're using which rectangle you're looking at or which shape you're looking at because of this dotted surface that you uh, that you get now what I'm going to do is show you what the walls would look like in that and what you do is use the push pull tool which is P or it's over here as well and then you can type in the values which would appear over here you have a look there we go I use 2.4 meters for my wall type in 2.4 click enter um, I use meters that's my default setting so I only need to type in 2.4 not 2.4 meters or whatever using the orbit tool have a look that's what we just created Look, looks okay pretty good okay I'm going to delete that and show you what you'd need to do to create other shaped buildings so take our rectangle tool uh, this is in top down view again and if you want to do an L shaped uh, house that's quite common do that and then we can draw say a bathroom in there or whatever we don't need that line there because we don't want a wall there and you do exactly the same now to get the right distance I'll show you for this one you, you can type in point 0.1 as I was talking about earlier then if you want to do exactly the same distance you can double click and you can keep them going inside that shape if you wanted to but if you notice here we have this double wall which we don't want so take the line tool pressing L and we cut off those ends now I don't need this one this line or this line and we don't need inside lines or outside lines depending on what you want and to make it nice and easy to make the walls we don't need these lines that were here take the push pull tool and pull up 2.4 meters is okay quite standard and now you'll see that we have our different shape building doors and windows now really really easy take the rectangle tool on the side it can be inside or outside draw that rectangle use the push pull tool and push through to the other side until you get that uh, weird pattern on the back uh, it's dead fighting and there you go nice door it's quite simple, um, can get some good effects with this. Um, loads of people would use that. What you can do is, if you're looking at it from one side, you can use the select tool, double click to get that rectangle, use the move tool, pressing M, then you can drag it across. If you want it on this surface, just press Control that will make a copy of it and then you can do that so many times if you're prepared to 
um, make all the windows on one side at one time. Double click, the quick way of doing it, and you get through. Add in a couple more windows, uh, one door maybe, back door, bathroom window. I'm doing it very roughly. You can use guides if you want to do this or just lines, measured lines, to get the right uh, values that you want. When you do inside walls you notice you get this line here. You don't really want that unless you're uh, using different flooring for this room and the next. For this I'm not going to do that, I'll make a separate tutorial for materials. I'm going to raise that line and now we have a nice small house or apartment, whatever it is with some doors and simple windows thanks for watching